Hey guys, I am coming back with another video based on my hybrid RV, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. We'll show you something. Um, this is the siding that goes on this, okay? And, and like I show you, it's not real thick, and it's man-made crap, of course. Everything is, and don't that look different? Stay tuned. We're going to go to how all that's put together. So what we're doing is. We've got an air conditioner and a little afterthought here, but I'm going to make it the beginning of the video. And this is a gold star. Pay no attention to that. I actually got that at a, a recycle center. Uh, Save this, but the rest of it's gold star. Um, the sticker on the back was gold star and the same damn thing. So LG higher, whatever. They're all pretty much same South Korean stuff. Now, this little inverter right here, this is made by accurate tools and it is a 1000 watt 2000 watt peak so you can say chinese rating it's 800 watts and about 1300 peak <laughs> do your math but that's what you get no matter what but they're affordable and they don't burn out real easy so right now we're sitting at 13.6 volts because my wind turbines are going 13.5 this thing here reads about um probably five percent higher than it should and it reads a little lower than it should. These are not always real accurate, but they're close. So what we're going to do, we have the watt meter hooked up right now, and we'll get it on watts and zeros also. And we'll show you voltage and show you prove the unit is on. It's 118.4. So let's see if this one changes here. And that's the wattage it would be pulling when you switch it to wattage. So there's your wires. So, you know, no trickery here. I want everybody to understand this is just what we're working with here. And I've got a just an old restored interstate battery hooked up to it. And I ran it over here to my little bridge where I get all my lighting from, from my big battery bank about 50 feet away. So, well, it's not going to provide it with a lot of power, but it will help that thing maintain. Now, this camper here is going to have five big batteries like that in it and a total of six to eight hundred watts of solar so keep that in mind now we're going to go ahead and switch this over to wattage and it's at zero and then we're going to turn the fan on and you see it's at max cool and make sure it's all the way down oh and let's get a reading right quick so people know what we're messing with here okay 60 degrees so so that's the fan inside, that's the body of it. My shop temperature, 61. My concrete floor, 62. Uh, the RV body, 62. And I think my battery's getting weak or something. And so you have an idea. Now, um, in case you don't hear the compressor kick on. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get the fan on. It's on high speed and we will kick her on right now. Starts out at 60 70 watts quickly drops down and this on high speed runs at about 45 to 50 watts okay not a lot of power and you'll see this over here the voltage starts to sag and recover a little bit because it are it come on now the uh the the true test is going to be probably even see the floor in there going you can see that or not okay now we're going to crank this up now my shop is cool in here, so I'm just gonna max it out. There you hear it. Listen. Hear that hum? Okay. Hear it down there. Or maybe over here. You hear that. Alright, now, so and the voltage is sagging a lot because I'm only running this on about uh, I don't know, 40 amps worth of wire to keep that battery hot and it's pulling it down. So now, in all truth, it's probably closer to about 12.7. This thing is not that damn accurate. Now, here's the wattage. Three, 342 watts. 352, 347, 340. So it runs at about 340 to 345. So now, compressor is on. Let's go ahead and get a temperature reading here. 51, 49. As you notice, it's getting much cooler because it's running it right now. So, 
there's the blower inside, 39 degrees. There's the plastic body of it. Get in here on the floor where the air is real cold. Plastic body of it again there. All right, so now this one right here is doing that weird little sag that it does. But if you check the voltage with the multimeter, which I did this before I tested it, that's off. The voltage is about 1240. And when it says it shows that little 1160, the voltage is about 1230. It just acts weird. So now over here on the wattage, it's showing 390. Over here, it's showing three, 356, 350. So the proof is in the pudding that this little inverter will run this air conditioner. There it is putting out 35 degree air. And if I had something more sufficient than these little bitty cables, these aren't the cables that came with it. These are just six gauge cables. If I had something more efficient or more effective than that, these are just a test set off of a little 800 watt I got free and give to my friend Billy one just like it. Just, but this is a thousand. So, and these little cables here, they're six gauge too. So I'm not really supplying enough power. Now with five or 600 watts of solar, maybe seven, I'm gonna get on this trailer and five of these batteries, there won't be no issue. This thing here with 500 to 600 watts of solar coming in and only using three to 400 watts of power, I'll be able to run this when it's hot. And of course it doesn't stay on compressor all of the time. So you'll see here, I'll turn the compressor off. It basically disappears. And then over here, 47 watts. So, and you'll see the temperature probably start to come up because it's pulling room temperature air through there. Yeah, there it goes, see? All right, so did want to make this a long stretched out video here, but let's run over here to this right quick and we're going to show you what we've got built. Up in here, we have the framing. We have the air conditioner's framing right here that'll go in right inside here. And I'll show you that air conditioner in here and what it looks like. The Luan, the nailer boards, all the other boards put in all of it shot in with screws a few nails to put things in as i was building and a crazy cat and um it's all ready to be wired and insulated and the frame made for the generator sitting out here we're putting a 2000 watt sportsman dual fuel out here and all of it well insulated way more insulation than this thing ever had in its lifetime so um, right now we have jackknife sofa going in, so these walls are not being finished yet. But there's your siding, that's going to go on the front, windows back in, air conditioner in, water tank, you name it, all of it goes back in, and this air conditioner is still running just fine. Listen, this is going to be awesome. It is a true sine wave inverter. Look for that link down there where I show you, and look for that. Those are not bad. Pretty decent. Hey guys, I am bringing you back out here to the bug out hybrid camper and you can see why the definition hybrid really amounts to something um, other than Emma being a hybrid. Um, I am currently right now putting in the framing here and we're going to use a grinder to give this a slightly rounded edge so you can see there. That's the original framing. Um, I use a staple gun with uh, inch and a quarter staples to just set these in place so they held for me. Um, and then, of course, I put in screws and all that stuff. So uh, we have some big, long four and a half torques going all the way down into the frame. And then we're using two inch on both sides screws and they're glued. And what I'm going to show you here is how I frame out. Now you'll see that that is a smooth face and it's going to go all the way down, leaving me right at four feet. But as you can see here, we've just made our entry hole. There is it coming from the RV. And right now, I'm gonna show y'all these. I buy these, let me show you what they are. These kick ass, they are K-S-E-I-B-I. -I. I'm gonna put you a link down there at the bottom of the, my upload info or post or something, that pin post. Look for these things, because I wanna show you why they are just awesome. Um, one of the things 
is uh, we have to put a piece of filler in here. So the filler is not going to matter if it's a little past in these areas, but it does matter in here because we're matching an angle and we're wanting to twist it up so that the paneling will go under here. And that's what we're doing right now. Uh, we're going to be putting uh, Luan all the way across the front of this. When we put the panels in and here, we'll be completely sealed up. But there you go there. There's your frame out. And right here is where the air conditioner goes. There's the air conditioner right there, hole for it. We've also got to notch this out because, like I said, those are on an angle. And build this out. In here, it'll be a full build out for the air conditioner's platform to fit in. And then we're going to wrap that with metal all the way around. The air conditioner will fit. And one of the things I was showing you is those little pads. I found a board that's almost already perfect for it but there's high spots that I'm gonna hit. So these little pads will clear wood off really quick. All right, now you can see the, how the board went in and now it gives you a flat surface across here. Uh, we're gonna clean it up a little bit and that's what the paneling will hit. Now we've got to add some inside boards here for the paneling to have nailers to go to here. Down at the base, of course, we'll be using the base and the paneling will notch up and run up to this first stud here so that it has flanged. And this piece will be put in. Um, the rest of it can be carried in otherwise. So now you see there is the frame out for the air conditioning unit. Um, there's a few places I use nails. Everything else is screws and glue if I could. Um, nails to try to make them where I could straighten the board, tweak it a little bit. But there we go. That's going to have some of that same paneling coming out right here for the air conditioner to mount on. And the air conditioner has plenty of room. We're at five and an eighth inches here. And at the base of the air conditioner, there's no vents or anything way beyond that. It's actually six and five eighths before there's a vent. So even with the seven sixteenths added out here, we'll be a half inch before the row of vents on the side of that air conditioner even show or need to be exposed. Okay. And the top one is completely open, but we are going to have a metal pan coming down and covering this area with a drip edge. That's what we're also putting in. So see the air conditioner is mounted and if you look at the profile there uh, you know my light there if you look at the profile when the siding goes on it will not affect the air there it will not affect the drain because you can see there's your low point right there for your drain little holes on the other side for condensate and it will not affect the top up here in fact, the original mount rail holes for screws is right here. So when the siding goes down, it'll hit about right here, hit about right here, and it's going to leave enough for metal tabs to be installed. Sorry about that. Um, to be installed right here to the frame here, here and here. And then underneath, you'll see that these cleats that are right here, we're going to be making a strap for the cleats and be able to screw that in when the siding is done back here. So I hope you can see that down there. I got some shims in it right now just to hold it in place. And that's what it looks like on the inside. If you guys can see that, I hope you can. Um, let me turn, I'll turn the light on right quick. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. There's the finished, finished wall right here. It has to, still has to go in about a quarter of an inch and we're going to remove this trim right here and put a nice little aluminum ring around it. But as you'll see, if it goes in just about a quarter more, it clears everything, see? So there's your vents. They, they actually will blow out at an angle like this and they'll do a fine job of cooling this little, this little RV. So there it is mounted in the trailer. So that's it. And a little more adjustment here and there and we'll have this thing just perfect and of course i've got to get some three-quarter plywood to run in here and make a form to fill this area here coming down same reasons and the lucky thing is, is i have these slots on the side that i might be able to put a something down in here to attach the three-quarter plywood to also if i if i need to so all right there you go there's your air conditioner 4850 btu 
antique of the year. Um, doing all the damage I can to it. Look how shiny it is. Still brand new. It's 25, 20, 25 years old, still brand new. So um, I did that trying to install it. All right, there you go, guys. Everybody keep an eye on and watching this build. There is our whole outcome right there. Now we've got to put the siding on. And next is this Luan, which is this stuff here. And it is not too bad looking paneling. We're going to get this trimmed and put on inside and it can be stained. So, and it, plus it's five millimeter versus uh, really thin three millimeter. And all the rest of it is just a matter of some nailer blockings for the staples or trim and that's it. We're going to have that part in. Then we'll start with the walls here and here, finish the cut that goes all the way up the center. Once we add additional strength up here and this thing had two pieces of angle in it and they were they were on that board over there in the dead center i guess depending on the frame to hold the rest of the weight up so but it's it is super stout now built in heavy with lots of long fasteners in here all right there we go there's your video update on getting the ac unit installed in the trailer <laughs>